So this is a donor funnel, a simple donor funnel, covering everything from email to donation. So the purpose of this model is to visualize the paths that people take on their way from just being aware of your organization to making a donation, volunteering, and then eventually becoming a, a committed donor and committed partner and representative of the cause in the long term. Let's say that Supergirl here signs a petition gets a couple of email messages that are positive that she engages with, and eventually she makes a donation through one of those emails. Further along the way, she might engage with the organization again, and if things work well for both parties, she will remain a partner, you know, somebody who's really a passionate long-term supporter. Step one, you capture their email. Then with email, what you're doing is you're nurturing activity. You're nurturing their interest and segmenting out people based on their interest, and then targeting messages to those people. Finally, what happens is that you will convert a very small group of these people into donors, volunteers, renewals, members, whatever you want to call them. You're pulling someone through the funnel. That's what your marketing effort is. You're kind of grabbing someone at the top end of the funnel and you want to pull them in. But people don't just do what you want them to do. So, so this pull through is like a magnet where you're attracting, you're kind of pulling people through with something that they're actually attracted to. You're not forcing anyone to do something that they don't want to do because that doesn't work. You can't change people. You can only appeal to their interests. Like what's going to get them to do this? What's, what's going to motivate and encourage them? So when we start at the top, what we're looking at is, you know, we want to offer value. That's the first thing. We offer value that greatly outweighs the cost of joining the email list. Oh, geez, I have to join another email list to spam. What are you going to do with my email and all this stuff? And just the inconvenience and time that people have to take out to join your email list. It is pain. It may not be a lot of pain compared to like medieval torture or something like that, but, but certainly it's pain as opposed to the value that they're going to get in return for joining the email list. That's the only way that people join email lists. It's, it's always about them. So you have to really you know, present something in a way that's going to attract them, something that's relevant, important. Okay? Uh, use emotional stories. Don't use reason. Okay, People generally won't take action if you present pure logic, but they will if you appeal to their emotions with storytelling. And this is all based on brain science. Basically, we all take action for emotional reasons, and most of our decisions are unconscious. And only later do we justify those with logic. Oh, well, I bought this new iPad because it helps me get my job done easier and it's easier to carry. No. No, you didn't. You actually bought that so you could look like a hipster in Starbucks. That is the emotional part of it. And that's the reason why people buy. And then with email marketing, you build momentum. And some ways this can work is you can either have a very simple autoresponder. So for example, let's say somebody signs a petition um, and they say, yes, I believe in this thing. I'm going to you know, click vote. Here's my signature. They click submit and then they get a follow-up email. Now, now we're getting into email, okay? They get the follow-up email that says, hey, thanks so much for supporting this cause, something we're all really fighting uh, for together, which by the way, isn't free. You know, if you give $10 today, a partner is going to match this. So there's a very clear call to action to these people that signed the petition. So email marketing tools you can, you can use to basically set up very smart messaging based on people's behavior, whether they click on links or not, what uh, uh, messages they read, which messages they skip, what links they click. And then eventually through this, you're going to convert them. The one you're not going to convert all of them. This is where you're going to have the, high, the highest likelihood of converting a donor from a digital perspective. Okay, from a digital perspective. If you meet someone, you have coffee, you have a relationship with that person, you're going to convert uh, at a very, very high percent. And you know, I'm not a traditional fundraiser, but I know that in-person fundraising is a lot more effective from a conversion rate, but obviously it won't scale. So then we have email marketing to kind of pick up new donors, reawaken peripheral donors. The last part here does say survey donors to find ways of creating more value for them while discovering awesome ideas for marketing. So this is the key. The reason why you want to survey these people is because it will tell you what you need to do better to keep those people, okay? You can, you can survey them in person. 
you can survey them at events, you can survey them online, but the important thing is to find out why did they donate? Why do they like our cause? Learn as much as possible about these people, right? What's their true intention? What's their true motivation? And that will tell you exactly how to focus your marketing efforts. You could essentially build a persona based on a lot of that information, okay? At this point, I'm just gonna open it up for questions.